Up downstairs. Okay. 25th anniversary Perfect. luggage tag. Very nice. We have the Thank fake bib pins. Thank you. <laughs> I like them. Real bib pins. Cool. What we were talking about it's like you know these are you have to punch to hold you know this goes on the back of the shirt this yeah. goes on the front. Oh cool. How I you never tried to get a hole in your shirt. I yeah. I do not know. I'm wondering about that. <laughs> uh, 5K 10K. Okay. Half full. Okay. When you forget what I've told you on the back. Awesome. <laughs> Two more stops. Okay, thanks so much. Yep, pack that up. Alright, let's go get the shirts. Hopefully challenge. Hello. Hi. I think I'm in the right spot. Yep. Uh, and the sun's coming out. Got all my shirts in my bag. So I have six shirts now. First you guys downstairs this way to get to there, you have to go down the stairs this way. Okay. The sun's coming out. Line to get in for merchandise, and it wraps all the way around to that building that says Visa. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it goes to HP because they said Visa was the expo. No, we're online for the pre purchase. Finally made it to the expo. Our line. Might be that Okay, we'll be around, right? So 
Good vista. Let's go over here. People waiting to pick up their commemorative and pre purchased. I mean, you want a shirt? Just generic, run Disney stuff. the attractions on it. 25 years. And that's the tag. Oh, this is pretty cool. And then we'll show you guys, like, I just got a couple jackets and shirts, and then they also have, like, a commemorative, like, their own run Disney purse. There's the expo. Weather reading. Crazy.
really quick out of the expo no problems at all um, just I'm tired I just looked at my watch and it says something like I've walked seven and a half miles today and that's not the purpose of today today was supposed to be resting because every day here on out I have a race except for the day I leave so I'm just I'm just trying to relax I want to really like go to like Hollywood Studios and go have dinner or do something fun tonight but it's just not gonna happen tonight Okay, just too tired. I need to do the right thing, which is get off my feet because they hurt. My legs are starting to hurt. So with 48.6 miles ahead of me, I think I'm just going to eat at the cafeteria, watch some TV, just relax, kind of get stuff ready. Um, i got to get my Merida costume all ready. I'm watching the news right now. And, well, not that part, but watching the news right now and they're talking to everybody about space heaters and turning on like if you have a furnace and what to do when it freezes and to drip your pipes and like this is crazy people it's only gonna be like 33 tomorrow like it's gonna be their first freeze or the, the coldest temperature they've had since 2010 so good job I did a good job picking a good weekend <laughs> um, which 2010 marathon weekend was also one of the coldest marathons ever in Disney history so we're like gonna tie for like the second coldest weekend but I keep saying be positive because every day here on out is going to be a warmer day so it goes up the sun's out the winds go down so everything if you can make it through the 5k the 10k will be easier and not really because the distances are longer but the temperatures will be getting better and the sun comes out so that's my motivation gonna just relax and then go get some dinner soon all right guys i got all my shirts laid out because i was curious about them because <laughs> somebody said that they didn't get a 10k and they got two halves so these are the shirts and the 5k is like a cotton t-shirt and it is huge because i order women's large I, I just like them a little bit bigger but 5k is huge so it'll become a sleeping t-shirt and then i have a 10k with mickey and minnie on it yeah, the half marathon with Donald and Mickey, and I love the full marathon because it's the 25th anniversary. So it says 25 years at the top, and then Mickey, and then marathon 26.2. And then I have my bib over here. And then I also have, this is the Goofy Challenge, so if you do these two races, the half and the full, you get a, do a doofy race. <laughs> A goofy race challenge which is 39.3 miles which is a half and a full and then if you do all of these then you get a dopey challenge so I actually like the dopey one I like the colors and everything but I have to say the colors are a little blah but I guess they are unisex they have to make them for men and women so I guess they can't just like throw in a pink shirt but it's and I just got them all laid out so I did get them all and they're all the right sizes I'm gonna put those away so here's my dessert it's a uh, five pound cup. Crazy big. That's not all gonna be. Let's see what we can do. That's all I could do. I head back to my room and get ready for the 5K. So I just took a really long, well not long, about a 10 minute bath. I got it as hot as I could just to warm up my body. I am just so cold. I just ended up just kind of like washing my face off and just getting myself warm because I just can't get warm. <laughs> I always like say, you know, people in Florida don't know what cold is. It's just, it's a wet cold. So I'm going to wake up around 3.10 tomorrow. I need to try to get on the bus to start around 3.30 and you must be on a bus headed to Epcot for the race by 4 a.m. So... I just wanted everything laid out so when it's time to go I'm just gonna put it on literally out of bed warm and just try to keep in much as much heat as I can to keep myself warm for tomorrow because it's gonna be cold so this is what I have 
is I just have my shoes and then my runner's knee um, strap and then my socks. And then, yeah, Max and Summer are on my shoes. They're the little because charms. So I have those. So yeah, I love those. And then I am Merida for the 5K. So for the 3.1 miles, I have my sports bra, an underlayer, an overlayer, the actual costume, which is usually what I just wear in Florida because it's plenty warm. I'll wear this raw threads top, my skirt, and this is just kind of like a decorative belt. I have calf compression sleeves, absolutely unnecessary for a 5K, but just some more warmth added to my legs because I just hate running in pants. I, I just, ooh, I despise it. I hate running in pants. And then I have a hat and glove over by my door that's like my check bag. So I just have that over there with just some extra items like a poncho, uh, a garbage bag, so those things can help you keep warm um, and just extra things. And then here's my hair. Um, that'll go over my hat and then I just have my nutrition belt again not necessary to have a nutrition belt but I'm gonna put my phone in it and then I think I have like a couple blister band-aids in it because you just you never know so that is the plan so I am actually going to get ready for bed it is almost seven o'clock which sounds super early especially being here in Disney World but I want to get a good night's rest um, so that I can get up at 3.10 in the morning tomorrow to start the Dopey Challenge weekend to do the first race, which is the 5K 3.1 miles, which is Pluto's 5K. So I will take you guys along with me. I'm going to have my cell phone and use that to record the footage. And then I will also take you along with the rest of my vacation as I'm here in Disney World. So I will see you guys later and I hope you have a great night. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you guys like these videos. Hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, have a good night.